Hi guys, welcome back to Little Piece of Heaven Farm. And today we're taking you on our first grocery haul, and it's for mainly for Christmas dinner. So uh, we went to a lot of people go to Costco and um, those type of stores, but we went to a restaurant store and where you can buy bulk things and it's called the chef store here in Oregon and uh, we picked up some really good deals um, for instance the French is mustard here for five bucks and I will recan it I'll probably do a video on it and then our chocolate person uh, no names mentioned Fran Farron but we got some butter fingers for him and some, we got some more chocolate chips. And I got some pastry dough. And these were pretty reasonable. Uh, these sheets are really big. They're 14 by eight, 18 inches. And they were only $3.40 per box. So I bought a couple. I'm going to put them in the freezer. Got some steak sauce. Of course, we had to get more chocolate for Farron for his chocolate milk. And then the, the biggest savings that we had is the meats. We got 10 pounds of ground beef. This ground beef was $2.14 per pound. To where in my grocery store, it, it's a little over $5 a pound. And we got some um, ribeye here. But you notice they're not cut, cut up. We have to cut up ourselves and so we'll be doing that we're going to show you up show you how you do this um, we only paid per pound eight dollars and some change for it and then this is this big piece of meat here is a beef tenderloin and I only need three pounds of it to make a beef wellington for Christmas dinner but it's cheaper to buy the whole thing. So I'll be making little filet mignon medallions and for us. So yeah, Farron and I were gonna have some fancy dinners after a while. But anyway, it was cheaper to buy it this way. And it was sixteen. Sixteen fifty-five per pound. So yeah, your better quality meat is going to be more expensive, but that's what I want for a Christmas dinner. And then we got a case of swordfish steaks. And there's 20 dinners in here. Well, yeah. There, well, there's, I'll take that back. It's 20 steaks in here, so it's 10 meals. And then we got a case of coffee, which each can, we did the math, comes out to $8 per can. So that's not bad. And we got a bag of 50 pounds of potatoes. Yeah, I know we grew our own, but we didn't grow baking potatoes. Look how big some of these potatoes are. They're huge. So... We got a deal on those too, so I picked up bacon potatoes. So we'll bring it right back and then we're gonna start portioning out the meat into packages. So you'll see that in a few minutes. Okay guys, so Farron's gonna start cutting up the ground beef tube. We've already pre-made our bags. So Going on to the store's website that I work at and checking out their ground beef per pound, they sell their ground beef for $5.99 per pound. And where I got this at the restaurant supply store for $2.14 a pound is what it came out to be for 10 pounds. So that's 10 meals, and we did a good savings um, on that. 
So the savings from five ninety nine to two fourteen was three eighty six is what we saved. So we saved three dollars and eighty six cents per pound buying the ground beef this way. guys this is our beef tenderloin and we need the center portion of this to make our beef wellington so I'm gonna cut that section out to best of my ability I am NOT a butcher I need to play one on YouTube So, what I need to do is trim all this fat and silver skin off. To get to the goodness. And then we're going to put it in in our little freezer bags and I'm going to freeze this. I was going to have the put the guys at the store cut me out one um, at work until I f found out how much it was at our store which is like 20 22.99 per pound. I'm like I like to save some money and then I found it at the restaurant store a lot cheaper. And I know some of you guys are going to say Cheryl you're not doing it right. But I'm just trying to get off enough of this fat as best I can and silver skin. Okay, guys, I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, some of you guys out there that know how to cut meat and stuff, I think I did an all right job. I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a butcher. I only play one on YouTube. But, yeah. This is our roast for our Christmas dinner. We're going to be making beef wellington, and I will be filming that too. Okay, guys, now I'm making the filet mignon out of the rest of this. And then anything that's left over, like this, all this stuff, is going to be stew meat. Okay, guys, the rest of that pieces of meat that we have left, I was able to get four small um, fillets out. And dissecting rest rest of the stuff here this is all the fat and other pieces of meat that has a lot of fat running through it this is all going to go into my broth making materials and this is stew meat of pieces that we just could not you couldn't make a steak or anything out of it so it became stew meat so that's what we got out of that big tenderloin well i couldn't have all the fun so it's ferent's turn and he's doing 
the ribeye. There's a big old chunk of ribeye steaks that we got. And it's boneless, so it's, it's, you spend a little bit more money on it because it, of it already being deboned. You can buy it with bone-in, which is a lot cheaper. But this is the main thing that Farron wanted out of the whole store was this ribeye. So we'll let him have some fun. A nice chunk of meat there. Okay, I'll bring you back when we're all ready. Okay, guys, here's our ground beef. We have 10 meals. So that's 10 pounds right here, which that's a lot. And then our beef tenderloin, we got two, well, three meals all together. We have our Christmas meal. Then we have our filet mignons here, two meals of those. And then also, it was some ground, uh, some beef stew meat that we put together that we saved off to the side. Then our next one is the ribeye. And we got seven, seven meals. And we have our dinner <laughs> for tonight. And then we have a single. So like when I have inventory at work, Baron can have steak. And then our two packages of beef stew meat and then all the fat and excess pieces so I can make broth later on but that that's that's all the meat except minus the sore tails and they're already pre-packaged and there's 10 meals for us there's 20 fillets in the box so 10 meals for us so that's our haul. And thanks for hanging out with us today. And while we're cutting up meat and playing the butcher on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks a lot. And catch you on the next video. Bye now.